Hello, and welcome everyone to part 47 of the Huns Let's Play of Total War Attila. We continue where we left things off our last time. And we're pushing west. <laughs> I had to think about that. I'm pushing west to get out of Africa. Just gathering my hordes together, though. I said, right now, I know I'll obviously get a, a boost to my wealth um, once the rivalry goes down. Um, once they're not all together, so that, that's good. Um, but I'm just trying to finish off. Uh, well, keep my horse together, get them get them west, take out Iberia, descend in there, wreck them to pieces, while continuing to build my hordes up. While these guys have encamped, I might as well give them another unit. Um, I'll just give another Honic Horseman. Everybody else got plenty. Uh, these guys do not actually, st you know, it's time like this, we should probably give them some decent forces. I know that's obviously going to hit our income, but then we don't have to worry about the Golden Horde not being that effective. We can actually issue them a reasonable grouping. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's give them another horse archer. Don't need charms in the eternal sky. The These crowd. guys will transfer in. Gods be praised. Excitement. This slot, um, and then they technically need. We're going to have to get rid of these guys, so they need spears, which they can get themselves. And well, I guess we could give them some shamans for a charge Move bonus. Out. Come, sit, share my fight. All the shamans actually are they good against cavalry? So we, we could throw them in there. See what they do. We're just seeing the. Pretty in colours because with these guys are moved out of in camp stance. But they need some spears, and then they're done. Unless of course we get rid of some bits here. So let's get rid of those two. Fight. They're going to take two turns. Proud. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll leave it at that for now, and then we'll get rid of the archers when we can. That's cool. At least build up that horde, and then it's a bit stronger. We've got artisans yurts here. Okay, so what have we got here? Alden's bow. A royal a royal yurt builder. Bartering grounds, a meat cure because that gives us food and growth and wealth from our animal husbandry, and we have a lot of those. Next upgrade for that is wealth from industrial buildings, which counts for here. The Royal Yurt Builder. So I don't have a cloth. I don't have cloth spinners yet. So we go for that. Good. Perfect. That'll that'll help things out. This is kind of the the way I'd like it to be with most of them. Lance training grounds or um I probably need more lance training grounds than archery grounds just because they're not nothing it's not really worth it. Um got a cloth maker, we've got a yurt builder here, so this one needs to be a cart or a carpenter's yurt. We'll go for a cart wheeler because of commercial although do we have anything commercial? That's still wealth from industry, which we're gonna get a bonus from. Um when we build the meat cure, so let's take a look quickly at the cart builder, uh, industry artisan. Cart goes up to one thousand one hundred. Uh, blacksmith goes up to five hundred fifty. We don't really need that yet. We might convert stuff to this later on. Carpenter, we don't have the rest of it. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to be a a cart wheeler. agents over here. Just keeping an eye on them. I don't think they'll attack. Also, as many of you said, we've uncovered that the Abbasigan King is around here somewhere. So once we turn this army around and start sweeping up that way, we should be able to take him down. Um, yeah, their other army's gone this way, I think, to try and chase these guys down. But that's fine, we're building. Putting this as a really strong mobile Hunnic Horse Archer Horde, and it should just be able to absolutely tear these guys apart. We'll keep it very mobile. I'll try and use, you know, <laughs> the best skills that I've possibly learned um, in cavalry warfare. So we'll leave that all like that. They just need an end turn. So I think that's all we can do for now. So let's end turn. Also to give you guys kind of, I guess, like a weather update. Um, today is beautifully My cool. People are in danger. Can you not join with us? No, I can't. Is beautifully cool. It is so nice and cool. Um, uh, today, 
Uh, it's meant to get a little bit hotter, I think, uh, later on in the week again. But, ah, uh, oh, I've got a cool breeze sweeping in through the window. Ah, oh, heaven. Um, but thanks for, thanks for all of you. If you've been watching on other series um, and uh, and commenting and suggesting ways for me to cool down and stuff, it's all good. Or if you've been suggesting that I, uh, that I man up and take the weather. It's just that for us, I know, like, obviously people from America and Australia have been commenting sort of saying, oh, you know, 30, it's fine, you know, it's not very hot. Um, for us, it's that's kind of like almost record breaking um, for us here in the UK because we're used to a summer of mild twenties, um, high twenties at best, sort of thing. And also, air conditioning is not a common thing for us here. I mean, so, I guess some stores have a, a bit of air con, but it, but it's more just to regulate the temperature in the store rather than keep people cool. Um, I'm seeing complications. Ah, oh, no. Loyalty secure, good. Um, but like our houses and our buildings are essentially built to keep heat in because we normally have, you know, cold winters and not too hot summers. So when we do get a heat wave, our buildings kind of work against us. Uh, and my room in particular being quite a small room, even if I tried closing up for the day and keeping the cool air in, it disappears very quickly. <laughs> um, right, why have we lost that extra money? Oh, it's because I've, I've built new units, that's why. Because I've built new units. Okay. Because um, I've built new units, and I can't afford to build any more. So, yeah, right now, okay, no. I made a boo-boo. Get moving. We're going to have to give these back. On the move, lads. So he's got a full stack. I mean, you're going to have to stay like like this. But I think we're going to get rid of these guys. Ready for action. Um, my other army up here isn't moving either. No, they're, have we been hit? Ready no, we haven't. Good. Right, where's our next stretch? It's, it's over here, but we've got units, enemy units coming in from behind us. I mean, we could try and zip around here. Might try and move over here, actually. I know they're going to probably catch me. Ready for more orders. It's just trying to find places that they won't. Uh, I think we'll drop down here to Old Beer first, because it seems like quite a rich region, because I think it's one of the ones they took earlier on. Yeah, I need to sort out my economy, because I've got it maxed out right now. Boards cannot trade. Great. Uh, all these guys are moving. We've got all these guys trying to catch up to us. The Aaron coming after us. We'll let them all take attrition, then probably turn around and, and swipe them down. Ready for action. Now, has anyone... Come, oh, God. Hit the tillers. Bloody horde. So he, he can only move to here. The rest of them, though, you know, we can make some, make some ground. I'm going to do it here with these guys. Who's going to move ahead a little bit. Like the likes of the Golden Horde. Oh, no, they can't move because they've been... Oh, they've been hit as well. No, their rivalry is really increasing. Is it the longer you keep them together? That's why as well, perhaps. The longer you keep them together. I didn't realise it was a stacking thing. So that's in its own territory. We really should try and separate them a bit then. Well, Tilly can barely move. Gods be praised. Excitement. We'll move the Wrath of Khan over with Munzuk. Move out. You have more orders. There we go. I'm not trying to spend any more money right now. Apart from trying to kill this spy. Boom. Good. Uh, pull this agent over here. Pull this spy over here so we can see. Get some line of sight going. On the enemy. 
military training, we've already got that. Replenishment, we probably should put you into an army somewhere. We've got settlement breaking. Settlement breaking. You know what I mean. Go for those two. Let's keep on moving. We'd be tempted to send a couple across the sea actually and land like over here, but okay. Well, we're going to earn a lot of money raising these settlements, so we just need to keep moving now. We need to get out of that ASAP because we're getting we're getting chased. I'm hope I don't know if they'll stop or what, but um, it's all these satrapies of the Sassanids, the Abasiga. You have my attention. Getting very now, pissy, but we're not cutting their empire into bits here. Dividing and conquering is the plan. How's our time. army here? We probably need a few more turns to be honest. They're trying to build back up over here. I'm actually gonna <laughs> just the move, finish them off here with a cheeky auto resolve. So that army's not constantly running behind me. I'm gonna take on warriors as well. And then try and move as far as I can, and encamp, and send this agent over here. We'll go in just, I mean, these we just need to wreck them. I mean, some of them haven't even been built up, but we just need to get rid of them. If there's any opportunity to liberate, then that's what we need to do as well. The other army's gone over here, I'm going to send my spy up to try and work out where they are, also to see where their king is, if I can. Send these guys in next turn, I, well, now nah, we probably need to... Can we? Can I recruit new units? Can I like merge? I oh, know. Well, the problem is, it's these guys. How much more do they cost? Yeah, they cost a, a lot. And seeing as I'm draining money right now, I need to save as much as possible because the rivalry is getting worse with these guys. So I really do need to spread them out into separate provi provinces. Um, what do we got here? Battle movement, charge bonus. Tax rate and horde growth. Go into this. Oh, don't mean to click that. Then what we get? Fatigue, commanded horde, cavalry, a charge bonus, recruitment cost. That'd be nice. Uh, so I can't increase my funds any further. So it would just be a case of I'd have to disband a few units somewhere. In what, what, probably like disband like one or two units across these armies. The onagers obviously aren't expensive, and I do need them. Probably be getting rid of this this infantry to be honest. Or actually, no. Getting rid of these, getting rid of these Hunnic ambushes. Actually, you know, what, I'm going to get rid of them now. These guys can't hit me here, can they? And they can reach. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of those Hunnic ambushes in this army and just try and save up some money. In fact, if I just ban one more unit somewhere, then we'll be fine. In fact, I'm, I'm. Well, no, the boss boring infantry. They, you know, they, they sometimes are quite infant, quite useful. Noble Akatsiri Raiders. Yeah, I'm afraid, guys. Oh, you've got a good bonus versus Cav. Excellent, but you cost a lot more than... Bye. There we go, now we're positive. We can just take that. So once we've got the core bulk of Cavalry, then we're okay. Oh, and also, you guys are telling me that I can only do one action, kind of, a turn. With my guys. I, I, do, I do remember that. It's just like, I kind of get distracted and go, oh, I'll go off to something else. Um... Hunter, he's a general. We should probably get a wife. Unless I could. No, I can't marry you. <laughs> Daughter? No. Damn. Come on, we could be. Let's get. Let's get Targaryen about all this. Come on. Um, let's be Targaryen. Be all right. How old she? Oh, she's. Well, she's got. She's got a lot of influence. Should probably use her. Oh, she's Munzuk's wife. Um, our control is pretty low. If we pop up the control, what do we get? We get horde growth. Or le less horde growth, but more tax rate. Uh, we don't really need more control then. Can't do it against other family members, seriously? It's just not fair. Um, I mean, the Hun wives get a lot of influence. I don't know, do you just not use them as much? Alta! He's been boosted. Um... Let's get him a secret wife. Where's that other guy? Then we'll just get him a secret... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Reva, your wife needs to... 
Make you happy. In fact, you can make him happy as well. Oh, is that just uh, only one target? We'll do it with her, though, because she's got way more influence than your wife. Um, you need a wife. Can't even adopt political candidates, so... Hmm. Right, let's end the turn. Enemy killed in battle. What? <sighs> They're still trying to slow me down or weakened by forces, ruddy jutes. Vikings, seriously, stop holidaying in Africa. Sod off. My land. Basiga, come on. Nope, nope, no action from you, okay. Not something that we can see anyway. Illyria, where are you off to? Because there's armies chasing this one now. Somewhere. Is that critical success? Take her hand, cunning, minus one for the husband. Ah, go on. Yeah, go on, she's good. Greasing the wheels. Large bribe. Yes, so it's a large bribe. She can definitely afford that. Uh, is it critical success here? Yeah, damn. They're, they're trying to catch me then. Which is fine. Um, is this a Ford? If I can get the other side of this Ford, though, that's better for me to defend from. They do try. Oh, what's this? Rettle. Oh dear. Maybe I'll have to replace you with someone better. I probably should go through and check all my generals. Now, have any of these guys been hit this time? Ah, oh, thank God we can finally freaking move on. These guys have not moved any further. Uh, I'm going to leave my spy here to make sure we can see them all. And then we're going to charge on forward with Munzuk. Oh, please say we can get pretty much to here. Boom. Make some progress, finally. Getting out of Africa! Because we've got that rivalry which is building up. The Golden Horde. Where is it? Has had... Oh, no. Oh, it's called it's reset. Or it's lowered. Yeah, oh, look, oh, whoa! Look at our funding! Nice, there we go. That rivalry penalty. I guess it's... Oh. No, it's not that it, it stacks per army, clearly. Silly Lionheart. Because we had all four of them together for a few turns. That's good, because that means we can actually... If we've got them all separately going off to, uh, after bits and bobs, then we can have them all in separate bits. But he's still in the Manchuria. Not Manchuria. Britannia. Why am I thinking Manchuria? God. Uh, despite the fact there's no heat, it's still early and I'm sleepy. <laughs> let's, let's make excuses. No. Um, Maurita Mauritania. Um, you're in a different region, but we need to move them all up. So, okay, we're going to have to take that hit again. Move you to there. At least it won't be for one turn. Plus, we should get a pretty substantial... Actually, I'm not going to move the Scourge of God yet, because there probably needs to be a horde behind the Golden Horde. Oh, wait, that's the Scourge of God. Oh, damn it. Cock it. Move them too far. Oh, no, the Golden Horde is fine. I was on the right one. Ah, God. Look at the right horde, Lionheart. It's on the profile. Seriously. That's fine, because that means... That means Tiller can actually just sit right behind them this turn. We've got we've got enough money for it, so it's fine. Uh, we'll try and take out this agent. Oh, so can we not hit them? Damn. Okay, right. 
Integrity's going down, minus five. Just taking on all of theirs, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'm not going to... Could go for the felt maker. That is a worthwhile upgrade. Yeah, go on then. I'll risk it, because we're getting 5k next turn. My spy's going to sit here. And my spy needs to start going over here. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's their king. Here he is. So if we can kill him here... <clears throat> their garrison... Oh, it's a, is it a provincial... No, it's not. I was clicking on this one. Whoops. Got Kurdish archers. We want to pull them out into the field of battle, really. We'll wreck these settlements here and try and see if that will lure them out, but um, I'd rather... I can afford to build new units now, so you know what, let's go in, let's go in and take this one. Protective to reduce our losses. Yeah, we've done that well. Sack it. And then raise it to the ground. There we go. Upgrade my general for this and for Overlord. Ready for battle! I don't care how tired you are. Maybe we could force march you over here still. So you're closer to taking on the next settlement. Um, we'll pop this in here to support the army. Because, what have you got? You've got, yeah, unit training. That's all good. I might upgrade your cavalry in a minute if you're doing that well. Because we put the taxes back up. We did lower them. But I want to keep them high for now. Well, maxed out, basically. Um, hinder army, we could try and misdirect them. I think we'll just keep an eye on him where he is right now. Don't know where that other army's gone. Obviously, we've moved to the best of our ability over here to avoid them. Okay, right. End the turn again. I'm not sure we'll have a battle in this one, chaps, but... Um... <coughs> oh, they're not even bothering with us this time. They're trying to outrun us with that agent. Maybe I'll try and manipulate if I've got a chance. But... Um... Yeah, right now we just we just got to head towards Africa so that hopefully we can have lots of nice battles to uh, raise and destroy and sack and pillage the Abbasiga. The agent's trying to get me the Wonders of the Vast Step. Ah, oh, damn, they are still moving. They're pulling back, and I'm hoping that means they're not coming anymore. Because the last thing I need is these, one of these armies just to pop up out of the blue, but... I've just got to have strong enough hordes that I can take essentially two full stack armies. Because most of the time they travel in pairs. Sometimes it, sometimes on their own. I'm just hoping that Assassinids aren't following me anymore. Oh, did they kill him? They assassinated me. Damn. Um, well, Altar. We were going to pop into a horde, so there you go. Oh, it's just a success. Mission issued. Ask your ally to raid this region. Our ally asks us oh, that we raid. Oh no, that we raid it. A, a trade route. Belonging to the Garamantians. Um, can't even see the trade routes, to be honest. But um, no, basically. Not happening. War declared. Bastanians in the Abbasiga. Cool. So they're going to start taking some of the land there. The Bastanians. Good, you're my tributary. You're actually, you could be my next, you could be my next ambassador, to be honest. You're quite friendly. This is good. Look at that, more and more. They're deteriorating. But, um, we can go after the Franks and that'll keep them happy. Bastanians are getting really happy. I guess it's because we are going after... Yeah, the Abasca. They don't like the Abasca. Good. Gaul is... Yeah, it's improving. Britain. That's the Abdanians. They've got lots of land. I'm not at war with you yet, though. Britain. Just at war with me. You are welcome. I don't think I am welcome, to be honest. Um, the king's still here. That's good. We're going to kill him. Thirsty for battle. They assassinated me, but that's all they did this time. What have we got here? We've got East Germanic rebels. Oh, we don't want to travel during the winter, so we'll just we'll wait here. 
It's a strategic point where we can just defend. And our income's all gone all the way down because um, we're all in the same... Yeah, rivalry's minus 45% wealth, so it's, it's barely enough, just keeps going. But it's fine, because this turn, we can keep on pushing. First of all, I'm going to... What's tons of press? Oh, I'm going to risk an oppress on her, you know what? I'm going to risk an oppress. I've not seen a single successful critical success. Yes! Oh my god, I've never seen one! It's taken 47 bloody parts of Attila to get a, a conversion. I mean, I was doing it like crazy in Rome 2. Wow. Wow. Yay, I've got a priestess. Boom. <laughs> oh dear, right, they're coming after me here. Uh, horse archers, some cav, yeah, nothing to really yes. worry about. Um, I could. I like wrecking things. I like wrecking things. What do you want? What do you want? Alright, pull this guy up here. Right. Attila, we should definitely make sure that you, um... Well, actually, Golden Horde. How far can you go? I bet you can't move out of the province. You can. So you can sit into this new province. While all the others charge on forward. Go on, then. It's not going to cure our problems yet. Actually, no. Stay here. Stay here. Because we're all going to be popping into this new province. Well, this new part of it, anyway. This new region. So everyone... And because you're so close to the border, it shouldn't be too much of a worry. Attila is going to be close over the border. Here. So he'll be able to reinforce should we get attacked. That's fine. Wrath the Khan. Pop him over here. We might be able to hit with Aldin's bow. We'll see. Thirsty for battle. Aldin's bow... Let's pop them over here, see if they've got a force ready. Ah, oh, they've got a king. A Tingis. And a weakened-ish garrison. Going in. Besieging the settlement. Uh, I'm probably going to lose less. Fighting this one. Uh, Auto-resolving this one, to be honest. Um, so let's just wrap up this part by one final auto-resolve here. Hopefully we'll have some battles next part, guys, because it's not as fun just auto-resolving here, but we needed to get out of Africa, and this has meant that, um, you know, we're not spending too much time here. So there we go. Lots of money. Because with this, we can, again, improve our hordes that need to be improved. Uh, we've got to check food consumption. Yeah, food consumption. This next building... How much more until we can get herders yet? It's okay, not long. Spinners yet, we could go for I'm going to save up to get more food here because we need it. I mean, we could upgrade here, but I'd rather have another animal. Um, well, how much are they going to give us? It's going to give us 25. No, we need a substantial boost, actually, rather than just little upgrades. Um, likewise, that's a sketch of God. Golden Horde, they need a new one as well. So we're going to have to wait for six. And maybe I'll need to drop my taxes down to try and boost that growth just to get it. Because that's what they all need. They've all got food. Although, actually, that's that's probably because the... No, that's the rivalry actually kicking in. So they might be all right. But um, it's always good to have more food, especially when we're looking to build... Why have we got these random spots here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> especially when we've got stuff like campfires and meat curers, because that gives us more wealth from animal husbandry with these two. I'm actually going to get upgrade to the meat cure, I think, with these guys here. Spend the money on that this turn. Or oh, there's the uh, builder. Um, is that going to take more of our food? No, you know, we'll go for the we'll go for the uh, builder thing because that reduces construction costs further. For now, they're doing good there. We're running away from these guys again. They'll have to come one by one across Iberia. So as long as I keep my spy watching these guys, how old is he? I don't mean to click that. How old is he? He is 44. He should still be alive in, you know, plenty of turns, so that's, that's okay. Um, not a problem. Right, you're good to go again, and you can probably just slam straight on into Verona. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to push again. I'll take the attrition running through here. But this is all just to build up our strength, build up our, our hordes ready for when we turn around and sweep back 
east against the Sassanids eventually. So this is the uh, the tactics. Keep an eye on that general. We are there. These guys can move now, but we're not going to. We're going to take out those rebels, but not going to yet because of attrition. Um, we won't bother building any more cab right now. So we can upgrade. We need more food. No, not really. We've got the cloth maker at maximum. So let's go for go for communal grounds. But let's go for another artisans. Yes. Uh, there, and that is where we're going to wrap this one up, guys. So, apologies that there were no battles in this one. Um, I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments if if it is looking like a part's not going to have any battles. Would you prefer me just fight one of these settlement ones? The thing is, I'm probably going to lose more men than the auto resolve. Um, but up to you guys. I know you know battles are important, but right now, obviously, the main point of this was getting out of Africa, and we are nearly there. We're like probably with most of the hordes one turn from crossing over. Perhaps the golden horde two turns. Just Charging over here. There are some desolate regions anyway, but they should a lot of them are ripe. I mean this one, Cathia Nova, 4k income. It's gonna give us a lot of money, yield a lot of um gold. We can sack through all of here. We could even hit a little bit of Britain as we come back over here, the Swabians, unite our forces over here again, and then um sweep back against the Sassanids over here. By that point, I'm pretty sure the Garamantians may well have spread out over this way a little bit. That's fine. We'll descend where we where we started it all off, essentially over here. We'll descend probably all the way through here, and sweep down from the top, and just smash them this way. I think that's probably the best bet. Rather than dividing my forces, we'll just smash down from the top with full Hunnic strength. But we need to start building some hordes. Um, once probably once we wrecked Iberia, then I'll create some new hordes. I don't think we need to create new hordes until then. But if I you know if you think I should. Before then, do let me know. We'll probably start upgrading this horde soon. It's, these guys can, I think, probably earned an upgrade um, once the rivalry's gone down. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in joining the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, XMG and Green Man Gaming. Links are in the description for offers and deals. Until next time, ciao for now.